Good morning you guys, it's Karen. I thought I would come and do a little first impressions review of the Future Renew um, product range. I couldn't think of the words there. I forget a lot of words. I say a lot of wrong words on my videos and sometimes I watch them back and I think how are they ever going to understand my videos? Um, but I got the serum. I think the serum is the main thing people are interested in. And I also got the day and night cream. Um, so I've been trying those. I've only been using them for a week just now. I'm going to take pictures at four weeks and I took pictures the day before I started using them. I'm going to take pictures at four weeks and see how they compare because that's how long they say it takes to see results. Okay, so let me tell you about what they have in the brain. They have got the serum. This is kind of the number one thing that most people are interested in and most people are buying and what they are marketing as the kind of um, new technology. I'll talk about the technology in a minute, but the, the same ingredients are in this that are in, are in the day and night cream and the eye cream. It's the same ingredient throughout the range. Um, I don't have the eye cream simply because this doesn't have any fragrance in and so I'm quite happy to use this around my eyes here um, and see if it can help with the fine lines and wrinkles. Um, this one, like I said, has no fragrance. It has some lovely ingredients in it and it has in it the super ingredients, if you like, that, that um, number seven are saying that they have discovered. It is a gel-like cream. It's not completely translucent it's like a milky gel I don't know if you can ever see in that I think it's because of the way I've got that light going um feels lovely going on really lovely going on I'll put a video in of me putting the the serum on my face it sinks in immediately but leaves a lovely sort of hydrated feeling on your skin a really soft supple skin feeling so it does feel really nice because they say that you instantly feel like your skin's better which which I do but I think you get that from a lot of serums and moisturizers um it's great as a layering product. It's not one that seems to have done anything funny other than when I used my lactic acid. If I used my lactic acid and then used the serum and then used the moisturiser, I did get a little bit of balling up. Um, but other than that, it's absolutely fine. It sits really well under and everything because that would really drive me mad if, you know, if my skin ended up balling up. I think it's got niacinamide in it, which sometimes is what creates that balling up on me. So that's the serum that's the main kind of one in the collection like i said there's an eye cream i didn't buy the eye cream simply because i feel like i can use the serum i bought the day and night cream sorry about that i forgot when i ordered the groceries to be delivered this morning <laughs> um so yeah i was saying i bought the day and night cream despite the fact that they both have fragrance in them but i just thought you know what i got a really good deal on this because i specifically waited until there was a good deal on them i got the voucher I didn't have a voucher but I knew there was a voucher out and so I asked at the counter how much do you need to spend to get the voucher for number seven and normally when you say that they'll go oh, I'll give you one so they gave me a voucher and then I went and got it they also had a three for two on them and they were doing a 20% off as well so it was a really good deal I think it worked out 60 something pound for the three of them so this is the day cream I really can't tell the difference between the day and night cream to be honest with you that's the night cream they're both so similar um, and the night cream is maybe a little bit richer um, but they both have fragrance in I've been a bit kind of naughty I guess you could say lately in that I've I've accidentally bought things with fragrance in but but actually really enjoyed using them I always enjoyed fragrance in my skincare it reminds me like when I'm using these I feel like I'm using something from Estee Lauder or, or Christian Dior or something that I would have maybe used years before before I went cruelty free um, and I sort of associate it with something expensive you know it feels very luxurious so I have I did kind of know they had fragrance in but I thought you know what I'm going to use them what I have noticed is using fragrance again my eyes have been more watery um, water eyes is a problem that I've, that I've had for years but I didn't have it almost almost never bothered me since not using any fragrance in my skincare it definitely made a difference but as soon as I started using fragrance in my skincare I went out the other day with makeup on kind of similar to this and there was a big gap in it by the time I got home where my eyes my eye just one of them had watered so much the makeup had come off let me start by talking about the night cream then um it's really nice it does take I was going to say it takes a long while to sink in but actually I'm not sure it ever does completely sink in but it's not sticky at all it's just nice and thick and it, it feels like 
like if I touched my skin, I can move, still move the cream around, like say an hour after putting it on. So I don't feel like it ever completely sinks in until like maybe the following day, you know, so it does obviously eventually disappear, but it feels very, very hydrating and it's not sticky. Like I said, it's not like your hair's getting stuck to it or anything like that. It's not an obvious feeling. Um, so I do really like the night cream, but I probably won't repurchase because of the fragrance. Um, and it does still have the peptide technology that they um that number seven have found then the day cream is really nice again it takes a little while to to sink in i do like to give it a few minutes to sink in before putting on my makeup so if you're somebody that likes to instantly put your makeup on i don't think it would make a difference to the makeup that's just i like to feel like i've got a bit more of a matte canvas um, because otherwise I feel like my, my foundation might just move around if that makes any sense um, hopefully you'll see from me putting the day cream on what I mean there's a little bit of a shine to it and it just takes a few minutes maybe five minutes for it to fully sink into where I feel like I can put my makeup on but it has sat well underneath makeup it is an SPF 40 which is good because often especially number seven I've noticed with skincare where they're including a, an SPF it's like SPF 15 or SPF 20 and it's like that's kind of pointless but this is a good SPF 40. It is octocrylene so it's one of the ones on my list but I've been a bit more like I said naughty rebellious. I, I actually you know get to a point where I'm like is it anything to do with the blooming skincare because I think my nan will be turning in her grave if she sees the amount of products I'm using because she was always getting compliments on her skin she died when she was 80 and her skin honestly barely had a wrinkle on it i think i remember saying to her i've got more wrinkles than you but then i was a smoker but she did used to say all oh, she said because i used to ask her what do you do and she said all i've ever done is washed my face with soap and then she puts on either some astral or some ponds cream and occasionally nivea <laughs> um so never used sun protection, but she said she always stayed out the sun. She'd never gone in the sun. She'd always worn, like stayed in the shade, worn a sun hat, whatever. Um, she never smoked. She never really drank. She said, she said, I never drank alcohol. And I thought, well, you have a sweetheart stout every night. So you do drink alcohol. But she did drink. Um, and she ate like white bread and sugar and cakes every single day. And she was still, she was an average weight. I would say she wasn't like a, a big lady, but neither was she super skinny. Um, so yeah, I just think sometimes it's, it's down to jeans. And I think I've been, there's been so many products that I've wanted to try and I've wanted to come and report back to you on. And they've got like these things in them that I don't want to use like octocrylene and, and fragrance and whatnot. But I've just sort of been going, oh, you know, I'm just going to use it for now. But um, we shall see. Anyway, that was a bit of a rant, wasn't it? So it's got octocrylene in it. So it's, it's not what I'm going to repurchase because it's got fragrance in it. I definitely wouldn't want fragrance in my day cream you know this is an spf 40 if i was going to use this as an spf i wouldn't want the fragrance in it because my skin does get irritated from the skin and having fragrance in it and then the sun shining on you is just that's an absolute no my night cream is one thing when i'm just going to bed but definitely not in the day cream so that's not a repurchase for me but it does feel lovely so what is it that they are that they have discovered they say that they've discovered these new um they're calling it peptocology and it is a combination of two peptides that i can see it is two tetrapeptides 94 and 95 so they found these two products that together work they say to repair damage that has been caused by the skin aging process and so that seems to be like the big sort of advertisement you know they're reversing skin damage they're not just the reducing the appearance of lines they found something that can actually repair the damage that has been caused so their claims on their website they say it reverses the visible signs of skin damage fine lines and wrinkles uneven skin tone and texture dry skin and the feeling of lost firmness and it does this in four weeks so it's a huge claim because normally normally skincare you might think that it's telling you it can you know get rid of all your lines and wrinkles but actually when you read it it says reduce and it means it can reduce the appearance and that's normally what number seven and other skincare brands claim but they're saying this can reverse the visible signs um, and it can do it in four weeks i've i've seen that there's not that many people talking about this um insofar as youtube goes but the ones that are um or the the reviews that i've seen are talking a lot about the science there's a lot of science behind it there's a lot of research but that isn't something that I would put much stock in personally because 
Firstly, they say that they've done a clinical trial, but there's it's not one that's published, certainly. It's not one that you can get details of. You can't look into their methodology or, or anything else. But I do know that there was 37 women on it. They said, they tell you that there was 37 women. That does not a clinical study make. You know, 37 people is just... It wouldn't be statistically significant to give you information on whether something works or not. Um, but like I said, it's not available to look at anyway. Um, they say that they've tested it on a thousand women, uh, four thousand women. But when you look at that, it's actually just consumer studies. That means that people were sent a little sample and gave their opinion on whether they thought it was nice or not, um, and whether they saw any difference. But bearing in mind, a lot of these people that are getting samples may, we don't know their history with skincare. They may not have even been using skincare at all um, and so this will feel nice and it will make your skin look plumped and hydrated etc um, so yeah there's not any there's not any independent research on this skincare which is kind of a given you would know that wouldn't happen but I can't find anything about these two peptides either so there obviously is a new discovery by them and it just means that all we need to do is I guess you could say trust number seven that they have found something amazing and try it for yourself and see if it works for you you know or you could just sit and wait and watch like i'm going to do pictures in four weeks time to see what i can see um but there is somebody has commented on the boots website that they've been using it for five weeks and has seen no difference and the number seven representative has responded to them saying um the rate at which people will see a difference will differ and it said 97% of the people we tested said that they saw a difference in six months. You know, so although it's saying four weeks, it can take up to six months for some people. It, you know, it's going to depend on how many wrinkles and crow's feet and uneven texture and dryness and how much they have got going on. Um, and if they they use the product morning and night and, you know, every day, that kind of thing. Um, so I don't, I think it's a really exciting discovery because what they're saying is they found that the combination of these peptides are will repair skin and I think that that is really exciting if that is the case um, but I sh you should also know that with peptides there is a lot of controversy out there as to whether or not they can penetrate the skin because officially they can't penetrate the skin because they are above 500 Daltons which is the kind of magic number if you like for something that can penetrate the skin so they shouldn't be able to penetrate the skin but there is research showing that they, they do work in, in some areas and, so, and they don't really know why. And so there's a lot of controversy out there. And I don't, although I'm saying there's no research here, there's no evidence, I can't see anything that I'm like, oh yes, the, the evidence shows this works. It doesn't mean that it doesn't work because it may just be that there's not yet evidence. There may be evidence in the future. Peptides are something that I really enjoy using. You know that I love the Matrixel from The Ordinary. Um, and the reason being is that at their very basic, they will draw moisture to the skin and they are a nice thing to use on the skin and they're really kind of, they're not harmful, you know, there's no harmful irritation, there's not too many things you have to avoid using with them, you know, they mix well with other products and so it's something I enjoy using because I no longer use any um, retinoid products at all because they irritate my skin. And so I like that with peptides, I never feel like I'm doing any kind of damage to my skin. So I do find this really exciting and I'll be really interested to see the difference. But if you, you might want to wait and see the proof, if the proof is in the pudding, you know, if, if there are people on YouTube and in blogs and whatnot, they start saying, no, I'm definitely using this forevermore. And if I come back and go, oh my God, can you see the difference? I'm gonna continue using this, you know? Um, the reviews on the Boots website are, probably 50 50 um there's a lot of people who are kind of in the middle just saying that it's lovely and their skin feels nice but you want to hear more than that don't you and there are a few people that are saying like literally i can feel a difference i can see a difference in my fine lines i can see a difference in the texture of my skin somebody was saying that her uneven texture is completely changed within a few weeks um so yeah it's it's quite it's a bit 50 50 at the moment so i know a lot of you were wanting me to use this and come and tell you whether or not i recommended it so i the products i would recommend or the product i would recommend is to get the serum i think if you're going to try anything get the serum don't bother with the night cream or the day cream definitely not the day cream because of the fragrance the night cream is nice enough but um i would say get the serum and try the serum and see what you think because there's not i'm not saying 100 percent it's going to work but it is a lovely serum with some really nice ingredients in it and it feels great on the skin and i think you'll enjoy the feeling of using it and it may well work we'll see um 
or alternatively just wait and see what happens at my four week point and everybody else that's doing that same kind of thing you know and see if there really is any any differences so I hope that was useful. Thank you so much for watching. Let me tell you what I'm wearing makeup wise. I've got on a different foundation today. I've got on Sculpted by Amy foundation. Um, I am going to do a review of it. I, I filmed me putting it on this morning. It's really nice, I think. We'll see how it looks on camera. Um, on my eyes is the Visart Petit Matte Neutrals. On my cheeks is the Too Faced Blush in Golden Hour. And on my lips is, oh, it's a Martine one. I can't remember what it's called. Try and remember and list it in the description. Thank you so much for watching and I'll speak to you again soon.